So we're going to read the, uh, the title poem from this book. Um, it's kind of a little funny story. When, uh, when I came out with this, we were searching for a, for a title. And um, I just used this title for this poem as a kind of a place mark to put in the, in the book while we were kind of laying it out. And uh, I kind of like it. So, <laughs> so uh, we went with this as the, as the title of the book. And the, and the kind of irony is, is though, even though it looks like the book's about death, it's really not. And it is. So, <laughs> so there you go. So this but, comes in, this, but this comes instead. There are too many tepid moments like this one. My heart beating unnoticed in its cage. My neck sore from holding my fat head up. My mind out the window with a shoplifter caught on Main Street, feeling trapped, traffic pretending to go somewhere, me believing it. I sit down to poke my fingers into the ungiving night, to pull out plums to sweeten the taste of warm blood, to perfume the stale breath of indifference that lingers in my room when the door remains closed, to give the silence a voice. But this old tenement is far from paradise and the cherry blossom confetti has turned brown underfoot and the hookers curse the rip-off station wagon driving away. And the old inspirations are lost on me tonight. The moon is dead, so are the stars. The mountains are out of reach and the seasons are all the same mud. My muse comes empty-handed, full of excuses, angry, telling me to fuck off and stop calling. There are times when that rage suits me well, when I bang away ham-fisted, when the words are black bruises on the white of page. But tonight, I just wanted to write a love poem, the kind you can't help but smile at, simple, heady with flowers, warm with sunsets, something safe to send home to mother. No skeletons dragged out or and dangled in front of the neighbors, something to take me out of my dirty underwear, my roach-infested nightmares, all the awkward situations I can't bring myself to leave out of my loveless, needy life. I wanted to romance myself, to pull the wool over my own eyes and bask in the gentle deception of a pretty flood of words, my day at the beach, my time in the sun. But this comes instead, a slow, dull trickle of blood, pennies in the pockets of my cheeks, the mumbled discontent of someone who has bitten his tongue before saying, what he really wanted to say. Mm -hmm.